Hi guys, it's Sean with CrossFit Tidal Wave for this week's Coach's Corner. I'm going to go over efficiency tips with wall balls. This is just going to be over structure, so I'm not going to go on a 10 minute rant here. Uh, a lot of times I see when people start to get fatigued in wall balls, you start to lose your vertical lines. And by that I mean when you're doing a wall ball, your forearm should be vertical, your spine should be vertical, and your shin should be vertical. So essentially, like so, drive down and up. So you're transferring that force as vertical line as possible. That way you have the most efficient force transfer from the ground to the implement, being the ball. Now what I start to see is a lot of people when they start to get fatigued, they catch and it starts to turn into this, and then they stand up, and then they push press it, or they chunk it, instead of keeping everything vertical on those wall balls. The same thing goes for the path of the ball. The force transferred from the ground through your shins, through your hips, through those vertical forearms, through the ball, to that vertical path of the ball. So think about the line doesn't end with your hands. Point A to point B ends at the target where that ball touches. You don't want a swirly line. You're trying to keep that whole line as vertical as possible. Now the same thing goes for the force transfer I talked about earlier. You want that tricep hugged into your rib cage as in contact with your structure as possible that way you have a more efficient force transfer from the ground, through your body, through your arms, to the implement. If I hold my arms out here, there's all this leached power. But that force has to transfer all the way through my arms to the ball instead of keeping it hugged in and increasing that surface area that's in contact with your force. All right, guys. That's all I got for today. It's a channel CrossFit Tidal Wave. Check out our website at www.crossfittidalwave.com.